from Woodsets Primary School and we're going to show you how to get the most marks in a reading test. We are going to use a level 3 reading booklet called The Owl Child. On any reading paper, first you need to read the text. Now we are going to answer the questions about the owl child. Top tip. The question may tell you which page the answer is on. Where did Peter and Maria live? Circle the question word. Where? Top tip. The question word is normally the first word. The main question word is either who, what, when, where, why or how. In this case, it's where, so we know the answer will be a place. Next, we underline the keywords. In this case, it's live, so we underline live. We scan the text for the word live. Top tip. Scanning the page means looking around for a particular word or object. To help explain what scanning means, we're in the library. I want to find the book Little Troll, so I just look for words beginning with L. And here it is. Once we've found the word lived, we read the whole sentence with it in. Now we go back to the question, where did Peter and Maria live? Now we read the whole sentence. Once upon a time, a forester and his wife lived on the edge of a forest. Out of all of the options, on the edge of the forest is the answer. In the next question, there is a word in bold text. So we circle it before we begin. Like last time, we circle the question word. Can you remember what the main question words are? That's right. Who, what, when, where, why, how. This time the question word is what. So in this case it would be an event or a thing. Like last time we underlined the key word and this time it's animals. Peter and Maria had four different types of animals. What were they? This time we can't scan for the word animals because it isn't in the text. So instead, we skim read for the types of animals. Top tip. Skim means read quickly. A 
imagine skimming a stone on a pond. The stone touches a pond at different points. In the same way, we skim and we focus on different points instead of reading the whole text. Dog, horse, chickens and goat. Top tip, don't forget to underline the words. next question is, do you think Peter and Maria were happy? What do you notice about the beginning of this next question? It does not start with one of the main question words. This is a type of question where we have to look for clues. Even though there's no question word, we can still underline the keyword, which is happy. Happy is a feelings word. Now we skim for feelings words. And this time, it's lonely. Is lonely a happy feeling? No. This on its own will not get you any marks. It says I have to explain my answer. Top tip. If there is more than one line, I have to write my answer with a full sentence. This, this next bit, bit is very important. important. We are going to show you how to write the question and the answer in a full sentence. Use words from the question to begin our answer. We cover up the question words which are normally at the beginning. So our answer starts, Peter and Maria. In the text, Peter and Maria were not happy. Top tip. When the question says explain, always use the word because. Top tip to make sure you get full marks right as much as you can. There is a clue why they were lonely. Peter longed for a child and Maria longed for a child. This means they really wanted children and explained why they were lonely.